Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick update on the 125. I have my OB Fryer Eye that I've been growing out forever now. I've been selling males, but right now, for the first time, one of these young females has gotten mature enough to be able to lay eggs and breed. And now some of these, the lithobates is trying to get in their way, but they are breeding. This female right there has a nice mouthful and the male is still trying to continue the breeding process. I did a water change on this tank just an hour ago. And so it triggered them to be spawning right now, which is excellent news. I've sold at least eight males from this tank. So just been sitting and biting and waiting my time to see when I would get some more females. Cause right, I lost all of my females except one, which was frustrating. So I was stuck with a lot of males, but I knew I had a whole bunch of, of young OB fryer eye in here. And when you just look at these, there's a couple more. I think that's a young male, that's a young male. I actually think a lot of these are males, which I was a little disappointed in. But after looking at this, um, but now I finally have gotten a female who is holding. And she's actually got pretty nice marbling on her and dark, dark blotches, which is what I've been, which is what I want to try to breed preferentially for. I've got a big male that's really nicely blotched in my 150 gallon show tank that I've been breeding. So really happy with this. I'm gonna keep this batch. It's a different male. It's always good to have a couple different genetics. In my opinion, this male is not the prettiest male I've ever seen or had, but um, I will go with it. It's this guy right here. He, I did just recently sell five males from this tank and the, the most dominant male had a lot more of a blue sheen to him. And so I think he's still just establishing his dominance and just happened to get this female cornered over here. And he's doing a very good job, it looks like, uh, with the breeding. I mean, she's got a nice mouthful. Yes, there's some fish in the corner. I think that's mainly me and my issue of me being here and the fish thinking they're getting fed. But besides that, uh, it looks like he, before I started filming, he was doing quite a good job of keeping this corner kind of just to himself. So I'm probably gonna stop filming now and let these guys do what they need to do. And just wanted to give an update that, you know, I probably got 20 OB fryer right here. So really hoping to get a nice big colony built out so that these guys will start breeding. And you can see that from this water change, <laughs> everyone, the litho baits is fired up. My Jalo reefs are fired up. So um, we'll see if these dragon bloods decide to start breeding as well. Um, so, but anyways, that's what I wanted to show and give a quick update. Thanks for watching.